Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. We are going to take a look at the inventory report. Year 32. So here for each thing in the inbox sent to the outbox the total number of matching items on the floor. So essentially what we need to do is we need to look at what is in the outbox and then check each and every field. Um, how often this particular thing is on the floor. For the B this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, in order to do that, we take from the inbox, copy it to what I call the item field, copy from 14, which is the zero, um, copy that to the index and the count. So index identifying the tile on the floor, count um, being the, the, the thing where we keep track of how often we met the, the thing that we had on the inbox. This is actually my, uh, my size challenge one, so uh, my speed challenge one, so let's look at the size challenge one first. Um, First things first, we copy from the uh, the fields indica indicated by the index. Um, <coughs> if it's zero, we've reached the end. So we can jump down here and just uh, output what we have in our count field. Um, if it's not zero, we subtract our item we inboxed from it. If that is zero, we bump up our count. Um, if it's not zero, um, we still bump up our index, which we do regardless of whether it's uh, of whether we, we found a duplicate or not. Um, then we jump back and copy from the next index. And that's essentially it. Uh, once we've hit zero with our index, we, uh, we outbox the count. Um, and then we jump right back and take the next thing. So let's see how that works. So we copy to the item, initialize our index and our count, take the first thing, compare, it's zero, so we bump up our count bump up our index, identify the next thing, compare, it's not the same, so we don't bump up, bump up the count, take the next thing, compare, it's not zero, so we only bump up the index, take the next thing, compare, it's the same, so we bump up both count and index, take the next thing, and really just so on and so forth, until we eventually hit the zero. that we do we just outbox what we have in our count field take the next input reinitialize our index and our count and do the same thing again as you can already see this takes a lot of loops and a lot of jumping back and forth And that gives us the size challenge with 16 of 16 commands. Fortunately, not so much, not so much the speed challenge. So um, I did a second version for the speed challenge, where essentially, uh, I, uh, you probably already guessed it, I um, did a whole bunch of copies of my code, um, 13 to be exact, which is uh, one for each and every check. Yeah, so you inbox something. I have a code block for, so essentially let's have a look, um, I copy from index, which is this, um, I subtract my item, if it's zero, I bump up the count, if it's not zero, I jump over that bump up of the count, and just bump up my index, and then I have a second code block for the second comparison, third code block, well, it's actually, I, I labeled them like the, uh, like the index on the floor, so zero, one, two, three, blah, 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 blah until 13, and then for 14, I didn't even have to check for the zero because, you know, I know that I'm at index 14 now. And that's basically what saves me the commands. I don't have to loop and I don't have to check for zero each and every time. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, look at it. I mean, it's just from, from looking at the execution, it looks like it's doing exactly the same thing. Which it pretty much does. It's just that it doesn't have to jump up and down. You don't have to check for zero. I mean, it really only works for um, 
this particular thing. Um, as soon as you would add another parameter, it wouldn't work, whereas the other one would. But, I mean, that's the nature of the uh, speed challenge. Oftentimes, at least. And there you go, inventory report. 91 commands, so yeah, not that great, but we very much went below the 393 uh, allowed steps for the speed challenge. And that's year 32. See you next time.